I have been singing for the last 30 years, specializing in the light classical styles. But today, when I want to talk about it, I am reminded of a Persian couplet which says, Explanation by the tongue makes most things clear, but love unexplained is clearer. This style of singing has a very beautiful name. It is known as the Thumri, which literally means to seduce with rhythm and music. seductive voice of Begum Akhtar. To understand this music, you have to feel the mood it portrays, drink in the fragrance of romance it creates. musical content, this style of singing is not different from the classical music based on the raga. Then why the name light classical? Because this music can entertain the uninitiated while it delights the connoisseur. From the intellectual approach of the classicist with stress on the structure of the raga, the focus changes to aesthetically beautiful expressions that touches the chords of human emotions. Aesthetics of emotions has been the subject for detailed study in many ancient Indian texts. The Natashastra describes nine basic moods of human emotion of which love or Shringar Ras is the most important, the king of all Rasa. According to this ancient book, every mood is said to have a particular color and the color for love is blue, symbolic of infinity. The many shades of blue in nature, from the ocean to the sky, are symbolic of the varied moods of love, from the sensuous to the sublime. Let us identify some of these in the language of music. The evocative charm. The joy of meeting.
rules of separation. The lyrics of the Tumri are mostly woven around legends of Radha and Krishna, the divine lover and his mortal beloved. To me, Tumri is the essence of pure classical music in which the rigid barriers are broken by discriminate and aesthetic use of embellishments and blending of the raga imbued with hues and aroma of the soil. Here, not the intricacies of technique but the delicacy of expression is the main feature. Tumri in Rag Bihag. It is a very good example of classicism in Tumri. Now, let us go back about 400 years to take a look at the origin of the style. In the temples of saint musicians and Sufi Khankas in northern India, festivals used to be celebrated with music. This is a composition of the legendary scholar musician Amir Khosro, sung in the typical Qawwali style by Jafar Hussein Khan. Haveli Sangeet, sung in temples of northern India, is a folk form of the Austria Dhrupad style and the classical Hori Dhammar. To draw a similarity, I will play back short excerpts of these styles, all set to time cycles of 14 beats. First, listen to the Haveli Sangeet sung by Balav Das Babodra. Oh. 
री धमार संग भाई यूनुस हुसैन खां in a melodic mode known as rag pilu now let us hear a hori tumri also set in rag pilu by sideshwari devi to mark the similarity and difference in the two styles the lyrics and the modes of portrayal while the dhamar gave a vivid description of throwing of color in the holy festival the romantic tumri said the eyes of two lovers meet and play holy with the exchange of colorful glances wonder if you mark the change of rhythm from 14 to 8 beats towards the end of the folk haveli sangeet which had close similarity with the ending of this tumri satra patronage of all types of music shifted from monasteries to the royal courts the mughal courts gave it a more sophisticated presentation in keeping with its formal environments tumri blossomed 
and reached full flowering in the course of Awadh, particularly during the reign of Nawab Wajid Ali Shah. Wajid Ali Shah, the last king of Awadh, was not only a great patron but also a great composer of Thumri. One of his masterpieces was the one he wrote when he was compelled to leave his palace and his beloved city Lucknow by the British to be exiled in Calcutta. I take a last look at my father's home like a bride searching for happiness. Take a last look at my father's home like a bride searching for happiness unknown. I step into a world I know not. better suited to the female voice, it gave rise to female court singers who rose to great prominence. This is a style of Thumri in which the intricate rhythmic aspect of the composition is the main feature. It is known as Bol Baat Ki Thumri. Since Thumri had released classical music from the rigid discipline, the artist was now at liberty to add any musical ornamentation he chose to adorn a composition, provided it added to its beauty and adhered to the norms of Thumri. An important style that developed is the Bol Banao style. In this style, the stress is on musically conveying a word or a phrase in many different ways. have emerged from the Tumri style and come under its fold. Ghazal singing could be called the counterpart of Tumri, where musical portrayal of the lyric is the main feature. A glimpse of a Ghazal by the Ghazal queen of the century, Begum Akhtar, singing a composition of Jigar Muradabadi, one of her contemporary Urdu poets.
is a true interpretation of a poet's creation, keeping in mind the poet's meter, correct pronunciation, punctuation and diction, while giving each word a musical dimension. It is essential for a good ghazal singer to have proper training in classical music, particularly the thumri. within the Thumri fold that lacks emotional appeal is Tappa. It is composed of intricate musical embellishments of filigree pattern and rhythmic surprises that hold the audience spellbound, but only for a time. Here is a fine illustration in the voice of Rasul and Bai. <laughs> It is believed that Shori Mia, a coast musician of Awadh, went to Punjab and was inspired by the music of camel riders and created the Tappa style. But strangely enough, Tappa is seldom heard in Punjab today. The home of Tappa now are Gwalia and Banaras. This region is rich in folk music of varied flavor. Some of these have been stylized and added to the Tundri repertoire. Chaiti is sung in early summer when there is a languor in the air with the promise of plenty. sing a chaiti in the light classical style. conveys the mood of tranquility and contentment. Kajri, the music associated with the rainy season, mostly depicts nostalgia and longing. A typical stylized Kajri by Girja Devi. Oh, 
variation in the Tumri repertoire is the Dadra. Here, the emphasis is on the lilt of the rhythm and the tempo is faster than that of Tumri. The name Dadra is derived from the word Dadur, which means a frog. The lilt of the music is like the leap of a frog. <laughs> Typical Dadra, very evocative in expression, sung by Siddheshwari Devi. Once the right to experiment was granted, every great artist added a new dimension to the repertoire. In recent times, Bade Ghulam Ali Khan brought the flavor of Punjabi folk music in the Tumri, making it more vibrant and romantic. <laughs> In every century, every decade, artists have added freshness to the Tumri repertoire. The names of Bhaiya Ganpat Rao, Sanat Piya, Kumar Sham, and Bindadin Maharaj, to mention a few, will ever be remembered. The royal courts patronized it. Common people loved it, and a whole generation of talented musicians kept the tradition alive against many odds for us to enjoy its romantic flavor even today.